Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a double bounce walk cycle like this in After Effects using the Dwig Bezier plugin. So let's start. Okay, so now we are in After Effects and let's start with the rigging process. So let's start with the arms. So let's select the arm layer and let's solo it and after that we already have a reference for the rigging for the overlaps so let's turn it on as well now we are going to go to dwig basil and add a structure so here we are going to add an arm structure and let's put this one over here this structure layer here and this one here and this arm tip around here so let's bring the structure layers and put it above the arm and we're going to parent arm one with arm structure hand with the hand structure and the forearm with the forearm structure and here we also have a reflection layer for arm so we have already parented that with the arm shape layer all right so let's follow the same process for the other arm. So let's bring the anchor point of the body somewhere around here and we are going to parent the arm structure with the body layer so when we move the body the arm should be moving together okay now let's turn off the visibility of this extra structure layers and we're going to shy it out now we're going to rig the foot or the leg so let's select the leg layers for the leg layers, we have only separated leg illustration layers for only one leg and the other leg layers are not separated. Well, the reason is we are going to duplicate this layer itself. So let's duplicate the layer and we are going to rig both the legs in the same position. And we are only going to animate one leg. For the other leg, we can simply copy and paste the keyframes and slightly offset it to get the animation of the other leg. Okay, so let's turn off the visibility of this illustration layer for now and let's focus on the first leg. But before that, let's change the color so that we can recognize these layers. Okay, let's solo the layers and first thing we are going to do is we are going to add some pins on this layer. So we are going to distort this foot with bone tool so let's add one pin over here one over here and one over here one over here and below the effect select puppet and click on add bones to add bone layers and let's rename the layers let's parent hill with foot toe tip with toe and toe with the foot okay so now we are going to add the bone structures so let's click on the arm structure sorry we are going to select the leg structure this time so let's put the thigh structure over here then we are going to put this one over here and this one over here all right so let's select this structure layers and move it and put it above these layers now we're going to parent foot one with foot then the this one with this layer and this one with this layer 
now after that we are going to select all these structure layers and click over here and click on auto rig to rig it and here the leg is rigged now after that we are going to select the structure layers in this order and we are going to select another leg structure now what it's going to do is we, it's going to simply place the structure layers exactly at the position of the anchor points we have to fix few structure layers but the major majority of the structure layers are by default positioned so let's fix the position of the structure layers okay so now we are going to even add some pins on this foot as well now let's parent this with the structure layers okay so with this the other foot is also rigged now let's delete this reference layer after that we are going to select this thigh structure layer and both the thigh structure layers and parent it with the body layer so when we move the body it should be moving together all right now we are going to shy out the unnecessary layers that we don't re require So now both the hands and the arms are rigged. So now we are going to select these collars and parent it with the body layer. Then we are going to parent the head with the neck layer. Let's move the anchor point of neck and put it somewhere around here and neck with the body layer. Then we are going to parent this neck tie with the body layer but before that i would like to add some pins on this necktie as well so that we can later on add some motion on this tie as well so put one over here and one over here okay so select the puppet and we are going to create bone layers and let's rename it So we are going to parent this with Okay so let's change the color code of these layers to red Now let's parent this one with body as well So with this this character rig is ready to animate So when we move the body everything is moving together now one thing we can do over here is we can also parent the hand controller with the body so when we move the body the hand is also moving together so let's start animating so let's turn off the visibility of one leg and let's start animating with the foot so a double bounce walk cycle as the name suggests consists of two bounces in a single step so a typical walk cycle takes around one second and a double bounce is generally a bit slower than a typical walk cycle so we're going to add around 10 frames extra for this walk cycle so let's start with the foot animation first so let's select the foot one and put keyframes on position and rotation as well as on the toe and we are going to rotate the foot and let's reposition it
and let's slightly rotate the toe as well and we are jumping on to next 40 frames so we are in 30 fps so 30 frames is once again and we are adding extra 10 frames so let's put keyframes over here now let's jump on to next 20 frames and we are going to move this foot this side so let's turn on this illustration layer for now and we are going to Take references for the position. Also, let's move the thigh structure layer on this pose. Let's add some rotation on the toe as well. So in between, there should be a passing pose. Now it is dragging from this pose to this pose. So let's jump on to next three frames. And it should be completely flat as well as the toe. And it should be completely flat on the ground. So let's move the thigh structure a bit above at this pose as well until this pose let's make it completely flat on the ground let's move the ball body a bit above and let's see if the pose is impacting okay so we are going to give this body this as the neutral pose and then we are going to move the thigh structure a bit above. So at this pose, we have to give some rotation. So let's delete these keyframes. So till this pose, let's give it completely zero and let's check. Okay, after that, we are going to adjust the position as well as the rotation of the toe little by little then from here we are going to jump on to next 10 frame and we are going to move the leg above at this position and we are going to rotate it in the opposite side as well as the toes okay let's check out the movement of the leg Okay, now we're going to add all the keyframes. We're going to select all the keyframes. Press F9 to easy as it. After that, we're going to select all these in between position keyframes and convert it into roving keyframe. And this one as well. So now we're going to add some motion on the body. So first let's start with position. So let's separate the dimension. We are only going to work with the Y axis. So in a walk cycle, in a double bounce walk cycle, there are two bounces in a single step. So till now it's, a, it's one step. So in this step, there should be two bounces. So it's around 20 frames. So there should be around one bounce in next five frames so let's jump on to next five frame and at this time we are going to push it up let's put keyframes and at this position it should be down and let's jump on to next five frames and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe 
let's jump on to next five frame and copy paste this frame and let's jump on to next five frame and we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe so press f9 to erase the keyframes okay now we have to add loop expression in all of these keyframes so let's add the loop expression and let's paste the expression in all of these keyframes so now we are going to add the keyframes on the second foot so what we are going to do simply copy the keyframes from this foot paste it on this one and other than that we are going to copy the keyframes from this thigh and paste it on this the thigh to structure layer same with the toe copy and paste it on this layer now after that we can select all these layers not this one as well as the foot layers and we can put this and offset it like this okay let's turn on the visibility of these layers and turn off the visibility of leg too so now let's animate the hand so the hand movement would be pretty much same to a normal walk cycle maybe we can exaggerate a bit so open position put a keyframe and also put keyframe on rotation so at this pose it is going to move this side so we need to arrange the layer in such a way that the hand is above this collar so let's do that and at this point we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframes so in between we need to add a curvature on the motion path this easy is the keyframes and so now we are going to copy the keyframes from one hand and paste it in this hand and let's add loop expression on this both of these keyframe properties and this one we are going to offset so let's select this keyframes and we're going to move it a bit further and let's move this one here and let's fix the rotation okay so like this you can animate a double bounce walk cycle in after effects now after that i have added a little body movement so for that i have just uh, animated the shape path property of the internal body elements such as for the coat and tie, tie and even a little bit of movement on the face and this is what i caught so like this you can animate a double bounce walk cycle in after effects so that is it for this video so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye